All right, today we are looking at my mobile HF and VHF setup. Uh, this is my daily driver, my little Kia. I put a lot of kilometers, about 6,000 kilometers a month on this thing. Um, and I occasionally get to play radio. <laughs> So uh, starting off at the very top, we have this uh, CB style 10 meter whip. Uh, I'm not sure what brand it is. It was gifted to me by uh, one of our local hams here. Um, I have the tram, or sorry, uh, MFJ, uh, MFJ 336T. Uh, this is the big Goliath uh, mag mount antenna. I have some additional grounding right into the coax uh, and then have the additional grounding all the way over mounted to the hatch mount so you can actually see there uh, it, it was bare to metal underneath there it's got a little bit of extra for for pulling and uh, um, it works great about 30 percent uh, better after putting that extra ground on there i i swear so uh, maybe we'll follow the coax for now we'll follow the coax in. This is kind of like a no drill setup uh, made as least intrusive as possible. So it does go right in between these two. It's going to cause some wear there. I try to move it once in a while. Had it with some duct tape, but now it's just uh, stuck on there residually. Goes down under the seat, over, underneath, and underneath the driver's seat. So let's uh, go over there and have a look. So maybe having a quick look in the back, uh, my kid's dirty spot here, but uh, everything is tucked underneath. It's very hard to see, but the G90 body is under there. My FTM 100 body is under there. All the wiring goes underneath the carpet, in through these pillars, up behind the plastics. It's all zip tied to the, to the wiring harness of the vehicle. I have my G90 and FTM 100 uh, mounted with uh, various mounts. This one, the FTM 100 was a mount that I got off of AliExpress or something like that, just a regular suction mount. The G90 is uh, a little bit more ghetto. It's actually a uh, cell phone mount that has just a little rubber shim to, to add some additional support uh, in there. And yeah, it works pretty good. Um, I have yet to have a, a better arrangement for my mics. The FTM 100 has a an extension cord all the way down and around underneath my uh, underneath the seat to the to the body so that I could have the microphone set up all the way and I just have them both hanging right here. Right now I run APRS on the FTM 100 and the G90 I have currently sitting on 10 meters um, and that's kind of you know 10 meters has been pretty hot right now so you know lots of lots of action going on here let's see uh, that big snow blower so uh, let's see Chris uh, today I'm running the uh, Yezu 5000 yeah so you can see lots of uh, active stations on 10 meters right now um, we will turn that down so that we are not overpowering the video but uh, yeah and then also I can plug it into my auxiliary port down here um, so you know if I'm driving I can uh, have it coming through the stereo to uh, overcome the road noise etc um, because when but when I have the the vehicle running uh, there is a little bit of a popping sound just for me in the background it's not uh, I have used a web SDR so I, I can't hear the popping noise on the other end it's just uh, through the speaker of the vehicle, uh, you know, picking up feedback, probably all these crappy quality uh, dollar store um, little uh, cables and such. But uh, yeah, this is kind of my semi-permanent setup. Um, you know, it's it's in here, but it's easily removable. Like I could easily just take the take the face off, uh, grab the body, and uh, you know, install it into a different arrangement. Same with the uh, the mag mount. Um, but let's have a look at the power setup. How I've got some power running to these guys. So I have 
pretty cleanly installed. I got the ground wire there, and then I have uh, added the power wire into uh, the harness so it's kind of tucked away so it's not super apparent when you pop the hood. There's the fuse, uh, you know, pretty clean, pretty simple. It does uh, go down into the firewall. Let's see if I can see. Here it is, the plug there, and you can see the wire kind of running. I can't get it low enough to see, but it is, what I did was I just literally sliced right into the into the grommet. Uh, it does make it a little bit easier to install as well, but uh, you slide the wire into the, the cut that you just made into the grommet. I don't go all the way into the harness, obviously, but get a good amount in there so that the harness can kind of the uh sorry so the the grommet can kind of hug the the wire and make sure it's not going to be chafing on any metal and uh you know keep it all tucked away and and uh stuff from any moving parts obviously um so this is just my quick and quick and dirty install i haven't got a switch or a relay on that at all um so it's powered all the time so you could potentially drain your battery i got a decent uh new battery here so i'm not too worried at the moment i literally let, leave my aprs running pretty much all the time so um yeah, and I haven't really had an issue. I do turn it off if it's really cold and, you know, it's going to be a cold start. But, uh, yeah, that's that's basically my my HF setup. And I've had, you know, probably two or 300 contacts so far on 10 meters using this antenna. And I, uh, you know, can't say that I, you know, it's a compromised antenna. It's not as good as a inverted V or a beam or something of that nature. But, you know what, it works. Um, like I said several hundred contacts, you know, I've done a POTA activation, get my 10 and within, you know, 20 minutes and I'm out. Uh, you know, it's a pretty, pretty sweet little setup, especially if uh, you want to run portable. I do drive with it on, you know, you got to be careful, obviously, of the low power lines and such, but it is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty bendy when it's, when you're driving down the highway. So, you know, be, be warned that uh, if you do that, you're going to get lots of looks, people taking pictures, all that good stuff. But you know what? Thanks for, thanks for being here, guys. If you have any questions about this setup at all, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, get out there and get on HF. It's a lot of fun.